How's it going, guys? Welcome to Spurverts Part 2, Reese-led Spurverts Part 1. Now it's my turn and Happy New Year. All right, let's go into the first topic. Graham Sunez has said Spurs are challengers for the title. What's your thoughts on this, Reese? Well, I don't want people to keep saying it. It's winding me up. It's, I find it... I don't know why I'd find it flattering, but it's nice to hear Sunez say that, given that Sunez isn't one to give praise out no, willy-nilly. Uh, but so I just... I preferred it under the radar. It's much nicer under the radar. The silent assassins slowly climbing the league, getting it, up there, really it? challenging. It's nice that people go like that, but it just means that fans of other clubs go, mm, no, they're not. They'll finish fifth. Yeah, because of this stigma towards Spurs exactly. for some reason. I don't get. But the thing is, it's Spurs like shaming. The more games you win and the more points you pick up, you're going to naturally be in that conversation. You can't hide it if you're trying to yeah, win games. Fair enough. And it's, and it's nice that someone like Sunes would say it. Yeah, but the thing is, as well, is. Uh, uh, Pochettino said, we want to get three points from every game. If mm. you want to get three points from every game, you're, you're basically saying, I want to go for the title because you want to win every game. Certain teams set up and they go away from home and they're like, we just want to get a point. Yeah. Like they admit, we just want to get a point. We're not, we're trying to get three points from every single game. And I think the disappointment they all talked about in the dressing room after the Everton game sums yeah. it up. They were exactly. gutted. They, a lot of Spurs fans are quite happy with that point. Uh, especially given the way the second half went. Yeah. But they were gutted. They weren't. They, weren't. they didn't. They... East Poch said they weren't playing music like normal. They want to be up there. The and, and can you blame them? They're young, yeah. they're hungry, they really want to go for it. But what, Graham Sunez, his, his opinion mean a lot to you? Respect it? He's a tough, I think he's a tough nut to crack. So yeah, I, I don't know if I'd massively love his punditry, but he doesn't give praise out too much. He's won a lot. He's won a lot. He knows. Especially to a team like Spurs. So. He knows what it takes to win titles. Yeah. He's been there, done that. He was a great player. It's a, it's a good thing for him to have said. I'm All right. Brad Friedel, uh, a legend, or Bruce Willis, as I like to call him, just because I think he looks like him. Uh, he is the USA under-19 coach now, and he's still our ambassador at Spurs. He just doesn't want to leave us alone. What's yeah. your thoughts on that? That's great. Great job, Brad. It's about time you got into coaching. I'd love to see him coaching the US team. Yeah. The main team, it'd be great. I bet he's a huge star. I bet he's. I bet they respect they him really so love much. I bet they absolutely love him. Is he like I a, like Friedel as is a Is he like a hero? Is he like a, a wartime hero over there? You know, Premier League battles. Is he exactly, come back? Yeah. And, That's you know, exactly how patriotic it. they are. Well, he's as old as a veteran, isn't he? So there's no need. <laughs> he might as well be there. Brad, we love you. We love, we love you. you. Congratulations Brad. on the new job. All right, let's talk about. Do I really want to say his name? Let's talk about Ian Wright, or as I like to call him, Ian Wrong. Um, he said that he Clever. worked with Delhi Ali at MK Dons, and this is what he said. Even at 16, he had a swagger about him. Typical of Ian Wrong to say swagger. And he wasn't afraid to give the seniors a stare. Well, how are you supposed to work with players without staring at them? You have to kind of... <laughs> Ian Wrong, what is wrong with you, mate? Yeah, um, do you know what? I'm not going to take your opinion seriously. It's because you were biased to Sean Wright Phillips for years, and you won't admit that he's trash. That is why I'm not going to take anything you say seriously. What yeah. is your opinion? And you used to advertise carpets. What the hell, man? You're a footballer. Exactly. Anyway, he is complimenting one of our players, though. But welcome to the bandwagon, mate. We've been talking about Deli Alley for years. Where you oh, been? Right with him, MK Don. So he what, wasn't saying mate? that earlier on in the season, was exactly. he? Exactly. It's not until he suddenly perked up and started smashing in goals and volleys and stuff. Ian Wright's jumping on the bandwagon, Ugh, and now he, he won't stop complimenting Spurs at the moment. I know, he's As just... an, If I was an Arsenal fan, which I never would be, I would be <laughs> furious with Ian Wright at the moment. <laughs> Pathetic. Defoe, you're just a <laughs> Jermaine Defoe that didn't even have any rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, this has been episode two of Spurverts. If you've enjoyed what we said, drop the video a like. Uh, follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. And make sure you keep it casual. Ian Wright, do one. Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. This is my post-match review after Spurs drew one all at Goodison Park against Everton. 